Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can create this very cool trick with the dog inside of Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. First let's see the original shots. Everything was shot from a tripod to make things easier. This is the main shot. As you can see the dog already sits on that box. I wanted to avoid a jump cut so we'll cover the whole area with a clean plate. Which is the next thing you'll need to record. Finally also get a shot of the poster on the wall. Once you have all of this recorded, open up After Effects. I placed all shots on the timeline. Main shot on the bottom, clean plate above that, and the poster shot on top of everything. We need to cover the area below the dock. So first let's mask out the dock and everything in front of the box. Duplicate the main shot and move it to the top of the timeline. Then select the rotor brush tool, and start cutting out the body and the dock. When that is done, freeze the selection. Also tweak the settings and enable use motion blur option. Now with the clean plate layer selected, grab the pen tool and draw a mask around the area which you wanna cover. Then feather out the mask. Next let's get the poster on the wall. Again create a mask around it and feather it out. Also adjust the position and scale. At this point we can freeze the dog layer before I touch the dog, so that it looks like a photo on the poster. Go a few frames back, duplicate the main shot, and create a detailed selection around the dog. I'm using the Roto Brush tool for this again. Now pre-compose the layer and make sure that move all attributes into the new comp is selected. Then right click the layer, go to time and choose freeze frame. To make the transition smoother I duplicated the roto layer, went back a few frames and made a mask around the head. Next I pre-compose the roto layer, duplicated it and made another mask just around the hands and animated it. I set the mask blending mode to subtract. This way I'll keep just the hands from the roto area. Then I trim the roto layers. Now the transition goes from the frozen layer, slowly revealing my hands and the head of the dog, and then the whole moving dog. And this is what we've got now. To make the poster more realistic we need to make the dog look a bit more faded or washed out. So add the curves effect to the frozen layer, go to the start of the transition and enable animation for the curves effect by clicking the stopwatch icon. Then you can go back a few frames and adjust the curve. This way the color shift is less noticeable. Furthermore I added this text layer on top of the poster. Finally you can pre-compose everything, add fake camera movement and color grading, and we are done. If you found this helpful please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.